Hello, I'm Lois Carrier, Certified Financial Planner. And I'm David Maurice, Certified Financial Planner. Are we related? No, that's our last, actually, yeah, we are, but don't go there. Okay, all right. So uh, today we're uh, going to tell you a little bit about what's happening with the market. And I believe that we have had what would be called a correction, David? Yes, we're in correction territory. A correction is typically uh, considered to be 10% drop from the from the top, and uh, we have we have seen that. Hmm. Okay, I, I, I used an analogy of a horse race uh, for January, and we saw those horses just out of the gate going crazy. And we kept saying, do not expect this to continue because those horses had practically done a whole year's return in one month. They got pretty much all the way around the track. <laughs> they all ran around the track, turned around and go home. Well, yeah. You know. Or they're starting over. They needed to stop and take a breather. Okay. All right. So uh, back when we were looking in January, we had some leaders. Healthcare was in the lead, emerging yes. markets. And then we had two nose to nose. Uh, large growth and technology were right there in third place together. And where are they now that they've reshuffled? Well, they have reshuffled. It's interesting. We did we did see a correction. That mm -hmm. is a 10% drop. And these all dropped between 9 and 11%. But interestingly, rearranged. Mm -hmm. So now you you had healthcare drop 9%, but you had emerging markets drop 11%. Whoa. So you've got large growth now in first place. And second, very close to that, is technology. Then you've got emerging markets. And guess what? Bringing up that, that pack at the front. The fourth is uh, healthcare now. So, what, so our two nosers who were hanging in the the back four now are leading. That's pretty they're, cool. They're leading in switch places, just like asset classes, up and down, and we yeah, never know yeah. what they're going to do when. Yeah, okay, kind of mix it up. Okay, fantastic. Now, what about the market outlook? Uh, we we made the the comment that uh, as January goes, so goes the market. Are we? What are we going to look for? This Probably year? this year we should think of January, February, because okay. that might be a little better. You know, these months are sort of arbitrary. Dates. Oh yeah, really. But yeah. when you're looking at horses, classes, don't know months. The, <laughs> neither do asset classes. No, they don't. Okay. All right. So. Um, We've used the analogy of a horse race, and I'm going to suggest that since the, the race is going to look a bit crazy, mm -hmm. why don't we just all get on our planes and head back home? And so if we're on an airplane, it sounds like David's telling us we're going to be expecting a lot of volatility. So if that's the case, I'm going to suggest that you stay in your seats, that you buckle your seat belts, and put your tray tables in an upright position. It looks just like an airline. Uh, attendant, don't you? I, I don't think so. Well, but you sounded like one. Oh, good, okay, good. And so, what about you as the captain? Well, I think that's that's a good uh, warning. Yes, uh, we're going to continue to climb, but we're gonna we're gonna have some bouncy. And so, if you need to go to the restroom, now would be a good time because you need to have your belts tightened. <laughs> okay, and that's I'm Carrier, and I'm Maurice, and this has been your weekly snippet. We'll be back next week. <laughs> See you then.